the Y and S Foundation here with more about how organisations and individuals are working with each other and with nature to help slow the flow in Herefordshire. We want to reduce flooding and its potentially catastrophic impacts and consequences for both people and wildlife. Last time we found out about how planting trees which can act as umbrellas and sponges can slow the flow of extra rainwater into rivers and brooks. So we know that planting trees up here near the top of the catchment area can help reduce floods and flooding in villages and towns downstream and so can creating riparian woodlands, woods near rivers. But there are many other different types of natural flood management techniques which can be used throughout the whole of the catchment area, including things like creating cool pools alongside rivers, which can hold some of the extra water we get when it rains a lot. They kind of work in the way that baths do, holding the water in then letting it out into the river more slowly. So they are a bit like sunken baths really. When we hold back or capture water in this way and release it slowly, we can call it by its scientific name, attenuation. A different way to hold this extra rainwater back and stop it from going straight into the rivers is, and yes, you always know it's going to come back to them, is by using trees. But this time, it's by building leaky dams with fallen trees and branches. Leaky dams slow the flow, allowing the water to sneak through them, as well as fish and invertebrates, which can still move up and down the watercourse freely. So these leaky dams are kind of sneaky dams. Leaky dams happen naturally in the catchment when trees or their branches fall across rivers. Once again, we're working with nature. There's a bonus here too, because these fallen branches can provide habitat for wildlife. It's a win-win. There are many different types and sizes of leaky dams and attenuation features in all kinds of places in Herefordshire. Some on high ground like this and others, hmm, just give me a minute. Right, where was I? Oh yes, and lower down in the catchment area too. As rivers travel from source to sea, the landscape around them changes. It gets flatter. So how the land is used changes too. More of it is used for, well, there's a bit of a clue behind me. Yes, farming. Herefordshire is a big farming county. Lots of the land is used for orchards, growing crops and raising cattle. Farmers and many others depend on the land, on the soil for their livelihood. And soil, just like water, is a precious resource which we simply can't live without. The food we need to eat to survive grows in it. The top layer of our precious soil is called topsoil and it's incredibly important, valuable, as it contains all the goodness, the nutrients we need to grow the crops for the food we eat. Sadly, when we see flooding, we often see this. Rivers that look like strawberry chocolate milkshake. The flood water is that colour because so much soil has been washed off the fields and into the rivers. Farmers losing topsoil from their fields in this way is terrible. It's almost like their money and our food is floating downstream. Too much soil in the rivers impacts massively on the wildlife in them too, especially invertebrates. Things like mayfly nymphs, which are food for fish, and fish, in turn, are food for other creatures. You can see it's disastrous for the whole food chain. So, not only do we want to slow the flow of water into our rivers when we have too much rain, we want to stop the valuable topsoil being lost, eroded, washed away into the river. We want to stop soil erosion too. One way that farmers work with nature to reduce soil erosion is by planting cover crops. These crops, plants, do exactly as their name suggests. They cover the soil because as long as there are plants in the ground covering the soil, their roots will help anchor that valuable soil in place. Remember the experiment we did last time? And even better, they will increase the organic content of the soil, the amount of nutrients in it. 
And remember how we found out that trees act as umbrellas and sponges? Well, farmers work with nature using other plants or crops which act in similar ways, this time providing a physical barrier or buffer strip to slow the flow of any water running off the fields. Buffer strips work a bit like bath mats. If water runs over the top of the bath, the bath mat is there to help soak up the overflowing water. It's the same here. If water does run off the fields, the buffer strips slow the flow to the river. Plants are mm, simply plantastic. <coughs> well, they are incredible. They help slow the flow, prevent soil erosion, and they improve soil structure too. This is what a healthy soil looks like. The roots of plants extend down into the soil, creating air spaces and channels for water to get down into or infiltrate the soil. However, not all soils look like this. If a soil has been squashed down, compacted by feet or animals or machinery, it looks more like this, which basically means the spaces through which air and water would travel are squished, compacted and the soil is hard. So the roots can't get through or penetrate the soil easily. It's like them trying to get through bricks. It means that the plants don't grow properly, their roots are weak and they can't hold the soil well. If soils are like this, they are more likely to be eroded. Compacted soil reduces water infiltration too, so there's more runoff from fields with compacted soils. But like last time, let's check this theory out with an experiment. soils we can use machinery to help improve their structure breaking the soils up and getting more air into them this will help the plants to grow more successfully helping the soil in this way is just one more example of the many different ways we can work with nature to help slow the flow and to prevent our precious topsoil being eroded it's really great that so many people are doing so much in our county for our communities, land, rivers and wildlife. And there might be some things that you could do to help too. Could you become involved in planting trees and hedgerows with a community group? Use water butts to collect rainwater and use it to water your garden. 
Use planters for your flowers and veggies. That's all from me for now, so stay safe and see if you can spot any natural flood management techniques in action slowing the flow whenever you're out and about in the wonderful and beautiful county of Herefordshire. Thank you.